at the Fifth Club New York, and today I wanted to talk about the kettlebell swing. What we're going to go over is some techniques on how to set it up, how to actually perform it, and how to place it back down safely and comfortably. So come check it out so we can swing into 2021 together. What's up, guys? All right, so the first thing that I want us to feel is actually the ending position of a kettlebell swing. We're not going to grab the weight just yet. So if you stand, feet nice and firmly planted, feet forward, arms are going to be straight out in front of you. I want you to feel like you're squeezing your butt cheeks as hard as you can, squeezing your core like you're holding a plank. And this is what it should feel like when you end the kettlebell swing. You're not here, arms aren't going overhead. You're not here, you're nice, tall, and proud, looking straight forward. Second thing I want you to focus on now before we even grab the weight is how to get back into the down swing. So from this position, a lot of times what I see is people are following the kettlebell. So my hands and my hips are moving together. It's not what we want. We want to think about the hips as a basket and the kettlebell as an egg. So if you're catching an egg, you want to cradle the egg, right? So to practice this before we even grab the kettlebell, once your upper arm is attached to your body is when you swing back and get into that hinge and then pop back forward. So again, practice this motion here so we can work on the timing of the kettlebell swing versus coming here and having the kettlebell come behind us. And I'll quickly show you the difference between the two. So in this first version, I'm going to let the kettlebell drag me back. And in the second version, I'll show you what it looks like when I catch the kettlebell with my hips. So notice I was coming down with the kettlebell and it was pulling me back this way. So that's not what we want. We're gonna restart that here and swing. So that time, not until my arms were attached to my body, did that basket catch the egg. All right, so now that we went through what it should feel like to swing a kettlebell, how it should feel to catch that kettlebell without any weight, we're gonna to start to add uh, the kettlebell into the mix. So the first thing I wanna go over is the setup position and the height pass. Height exactly like it sounds, like a football player. So the way I like to think about this is you're standing in front of the kettlebell so that your arms are about one to one and a half feet from it. And again, those hips behind you. Reach for the kettlebell and then tilt it towards you. So now from here, I want you to think about pulling your shoulder blades back, dragging that kettlebell, and we're just gonna hike it behind us. So I want you to really think about throwing it back and bringing it forward. Throwing it back and bringing it forward. Do this a couple times so you can feel that kettlebell going behind you and in front of you. And that's gonna also help you to place the kettlebell back down after you finish swinging versus letting it dangle around like that. We're gonna go through the entire motion so that you can see it from start to finish. So again, about a foot, foot and a half in front, toes forward, the butt is gonna start squeezing. So now we're gonna hinge back, tilt, height, swing, swing, swing. And that was the placing down of the kettlebell. So that's why you wanna practice that height pass so from start to finish, you have good tension through the body. You're controlling the kettlebell, it's not controlling you. Check those out, let us know how you like it.